Hi everyone, welcome back to TS Talks. If you haven't already done so, make sure you go hit that subscribe button now. Now in this one, I'm just talking about China. Obviously, you know, I'm a country, you know, highly in the news for the last few months now in regards to the whole coronavirus situation. And, you know, for me, I'm not even talking about that so much. I'm talking about the treatment of how, you know, black people have been getting treated there. Um, of recent now from things that I've seen you know apparently um, racism in China is you know it's quite it's quite open and in your face and you you know you really experience it and obviously I'm not probably the best person to speak on that so much as um, I haven't seen so much in regards to that I've heard people talk about it but to give my own personal opinion on it I haven't seen no you know um, full-on footage or anything as much as I've seen of what they've done of recent now um, of recent, it, after, you know, the whole, they've kind of got over their coronavirus pandemic over in China, um, you know, there's been a lot of African people, black people in China, which, you know, have been kicked out of hotels, um, uh, evicted from, from flats that they're staying in. And, you know, I've even seen signs where, like, they're banned from shopping centres. It literally says, like, no negroes or something like that and you know when they try to go shopping centers i've seen videos of them being rejected and not being allowed to come in and you know it's disgusting to see them being discriminated in this sort of way um and you know i just think it's um it's just bang out of order you know i've seen some you know african countries have you know they've retaliated and they've done the same thing back towards chinese people and you know what I don't condone anyone being discriminated or any sort of racist behaviour, this, that and the other. But at the same time, you know, I think for some of these countries, um, well, this is in general, you know, you see something happening to your people by a certain, you know, group of people, you know, your natural instinct is to do the same thing back. So, you know, I, I don't knock these African countries for doing the same thing back. Now, um, you know, we've got to, like, kind of, in a sense... Um, make this a thing where, you know, I'm not personally discriminating or being racist towards any Chinese people. But, you know, from what I know, this has been an ongoing thing. And, you know, this is something that some Caribbean countries need to take into play. Even Jamaica. When I went to Jamaica back in 2017, like, I was shocked. Like, it was like a lot of the, like, the touristy shops you go to, Yes, you've got, like, the Carib Caribbean people in there, but a lot of it is, like, the man that owns the shop's Chinese and stuff. It's like, whoa, like, it's a bit of, bit of a liberty. And I think going forward, you know, to kind of make a stand on it, you kind of got to, you know, stop supporting their businesses. Like, you know, us over here in the UK, you know, whether that's their food shops, their hair shops, nail shops, etc., all of that, you know, need to, need to kind of cut it out. And I know that... Um, some of us as a race and that when we have certain businesses as an example like a Caribbean takeaway shop you know the stigma is the bad customer service and stuff like that or even a hair shop and maybe there's problems and the timing and stuff and you know that's something we need to work towards in terms of things of making stuff better but back to my main point of this video I just think that the way that these people have been getting treated in China you know is bang out of order it's disrespectful and you know truth be told um, if it was the same people that was the same people that's discriminating them and stuff, if they was to have a one on one fight, you know they'd probably get themselves sparked out. Um, but you know clearly, yeah, I just the way the country up, it, it's it's deemed to be okay. And, and like I said, um, you know in Jamaica and other Caribbean islands, we need to kind of clamp down on all this um, sort of letting the Chinese come and do this that the other and and kind of take over our islands but yeah that's just my thoughts on it let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and if you haven't already done so go hit that subscribe button now and i'll catch you next time